Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to my kitchen. I'm a percussionist and um, I've been making a lot of sticks and brushes um, for this the, the start of school term. Um, I make these kind of um, rod sticks for my students and for the conservatoire where I teach. Um, I find they're cheap and really good. I've been making also brushes. Um, they're, they're, they sound really good and they're cheap to make. So this is a video of a um, yeah, comparison of different sticks um, and how to make also some sticks. So I've been making sticks for a while now. Um, these are kind of hot rods. I use them mainly for, for drum set and for my pupils. And they're made out of um, just garden plant tutors. And I found this kind of textile sellotape. Um, or there's some more kind of plasticky, um, like solid tape here. Um, th these I've, I made a bunch eight years ago for the conservatoire. And they've been used extensively with all the kids. And they've lasted a really long time. So they, they're super resistant. You just kind of... Um, first do a first sellotape round round like this and then you wrap sellotape round and then an extra bit and then you cut them off you sandpaper them because you get sometimes a bit of um, shards coming out you can see here um, but they sound really good these are mainly for, for all for drum sets or yeah you could use them for a lot of different things um, but they're really simple to make and they're good quality um, so then I got kind of interested in um, brushes and this is, was my first brush I bought from Glenn Velez as I play a lot of frame drums and he uses this in his left hand and it's, it's really, really nice. So it's, of, it's done with um, broom corn um, and then I decided, well, I'm going to try out, I tried out the kind of whole um, Vic Furt, so you've got broom corn. African grass, birch, and this is like birch and rasin. And um, these are much larger broom corn. And these are my I kind of decided to make my own and um, bought a broomstick and some large tape. And out of one broom, I made uh, more than 10 sticks or brushes. Um, so it's well worth the, the, the effort um, and fun. Um, creating these brushes. This is Glenn Velez's brush. Bigfoot. African grass. Um, and these are my brushes. So, sound, yeah, pretty similar. Um, why don't I try out some uh, the double brushes? I, I really like this um, African grass. I find it, you know, it's really interesting. Um, it's slightly snappier, it gives this snare sound. Um, um, the birch is much harder. Um, I wouldn't play these on like um, animal skins. Um, these are Cooperman um, plastic skins. Um, well, this is like really hard. These are the large uh, um, headhunters soft corn. Um, 
I've, I've done an extra video of me playing on djembe with um, like, um, I would play these on a, yeah, djembe or conga. researched um, broom corn and it's a, a crop called sorghum very widespread around the world um, comes from Africa or very ancient Egypt um, it's also gluten-free grain I've probably tasted it in India but it's not well known here so I, I'm definitely going to look out for it and and try it on a culinary level I find this sound really nice as a brush um, I also really like this African grass style and I'm thinking well why are we not making um, drum brushes out of other different grasses like heather um, so I'm thinking well I'm, I'm probably going to try out um, you know picking different grasses and maybe drying them and um, there's probably loads of ideas to make different brushes um, but this is really worth just buying a broom and some tape and making your own um, because you know I paid fifty dollars for you know this stick the these this pair and you know ten ten of these cost like twenty dollars if you make them and they sound they sound nice you know so thank you for watching and have a nice day